How can you avoid probate? And before doing that, you can go over to adamfire.com, especially if you're an expat or a high net wealth individual and see how I can help you. People all around the world do want to try to avoid probate where possible, but obviously if you've got assets in numerous countries, which expats tend to have, and also high net wealth individuals, it becomes a bigger issue. If your loved one has just died, or somebody you know has just died, the last thing you want to do is have like a year or two where you're going through probate and the courts. So there's a number of options here. Number one is joint accounts, but obviously that doesn't work well if you're both old. It works better if one partner is much younger and you're gonna pass down most of the assets to that person. Option two is gifting as well. Um, obviously this does depend on the jurisdiction because certain jurisdictions have no gift tax other jurisdictions are strict. But again, with gifting, usually it doesn't work for massive amounts of money. So take the UK where I'm originally from, there's quite high taxes on gifting, but you know, above a certain uh, threshold. So obviously in some countries, it doesn't really make sense. Then you can also look at things like trusts and foundations. Uh, the advantage of a trust as well sometimes is you can set rules as well. Like it isn't just in the case of death, it can also be in the case of disability. But then you've also got another option, which is to invest money on a life assurance platform. Because with most life assurance platforms, you can actually nominate beneficiaries on your account, which is like a letter of wishes. And that means you don't actually need to go through probate. So if you're interested in any of those solutions, you can reach out to me on the contact details below.